So I've been asked to do a short video on how to use NAC's webhook and get ID module to pull data from NAC to another service, in this case just a, a simple Google Sheet. So if you haven't seen getting started with Integral Map, then check out the link in the description. And this I'm just going to jump into fairly quickly. We have a, a table to add a client and when we add a client we're going to pick up their name, email and phone number into Integral Map and push it into a Google Sheet. And very simple sheet here, just name, email and phone. So moving over into Integral Map, create a new scenario, search for the NAC module and the first one you'll need is a new event which happens when a, a trigger, uh, a new record is added. So uh, if you're not familiar with setting up your webhook, once again, check out the getting started video below. So I'll have my webhook created. I'm going to click OK. When this runs, if I just run this once, when a record's added, what will be passed to this is the NAC ID number for that record. And it's a 27 digit string. And it's not visible in NAC and it's never exposed uh, in the application. But that's what will be received by this new event webhook. And what we need to do is then look that up. So if I just add a record, first of all, this module is sitting waiting to receive. So I filled in the name, email and phone number. I'm going to hit submit and that's received a record ID. Now this record ID is the ID for that one entry that we just added. But what we need to do is to look that up. Now, what a lot of new users find is they were expecting this to pull through the customer's name and phone number and email address. But you have to add a second module here on NAC, which is get a record. So it's effectively looking up that record ID. So we use the same webhook. Connect to your object. So mine's client. And we want to look up the record ID. So when you click in here, it'll only show you any fields that have been received and when you hover over record ID the first module pulsates to show you that's where that's coming from so we can add that in and click OK now we're we'll set that to run once and jump back into NAC going to add another record so this record is uh, Karen Smith email and phone number hit submit jump back into Integramat first module received the record ID ending uh, 1E2 and the second module looked that up and that was its input here was ending one E2. So that's the record ID. And then this is the record it found. So that's my information here. So I can now map these fields. Um, so I've got here like the breakdown of who added it and the name, everything's broken down first and last and all the address components if they were filled in. So now I'm just going to add a sheets module. So Google sheets, going to add a row. If you haven't already connected, you'll need to just go through the connection process to connect to your Google account. Mine's already connected. Select a spreadsheet. I only have one sheet. The table does contain headers. If I just jump into the spreadsheet, I have the client name, email, and phone number. And you can see these are pulled through to here. Client name is column A, email is B, and phone number C. So now I can click into these and it will show me all available data that I can then map. So from here, I could put the client name into there in the email field. If I just scroll down a bit. I can use this email address. And then the phone number is I'm going to use this number here. Column D, E, F and O, et cetera, are all empty. So that's going to map those uh, data strings to those uh, columns. So I'm just going to run that manually once more. So I've added Larry Mill name, email and phone and just submit. So Integramat received the record ID on the webhook module. The get record ID had that as its input, looked that up and found Larry Mills record. And then on the uh, Google Sheets module, we output to the correct sheet. And if I flick into the sheet, we have Larry's name, email address and phone number pulled through. I hope you found that of interest. Um, and hopefully that's clarified how to use the uh, webhook module and the get record ID module to pull through the data from a submission. Uh, if you found this interesting, uh, like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.